Hey everybody, and welcome back to Vault Hunters. It's me, Swarly Pilgrim, or Sparsely Parsnips, if you prefer. That's another good one. Uh, welcome back to Vault Hunters. Uh, we are going to try to jump into another vault right away, but first we really do need to put away the rest of our loot. Holy crap. What does it want us to do again? Right, we need to make a bounty table as well. Let's, uh, let's do that. Let's do that. What do we need? We need to make a loom. Tell me about loom. Guys, I need you guys to tell me about Loom. If you know about Loom, let me know in the comments below, yeah? Uh, chromatic Iron, Vault Essence, and a Loom. What do we need to make a Loom? How many more times in this video do you think I can say the word Loom? Uh, we need wood and string. I think string is actually an issue right now. I think string is an issue right now. Hmm. I'm also going to need a lot more gubbins chests, I think. We really need to get sorted. Okay, hold on. The emeralds go down here. Let's 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 try to keep this together. The emeralds go down there. Everything else can go up here in a in a gubbins chest or in this gubbins barrel for now. Not the shulker. There's stuff in the shulker that we need to loot too. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. There's so much stuff already. Uh, all this needs to come out as well. We've I got we've got more loot. That I forgot about. Um, blocks can go in here. Anything that's in that chest can go in there. This fancy little button, insert filtered, will put any items that are in a chest, uh, that are in your inventory. If they're already in the chest, it'll just automatically put them in the appropriate stack. Which is very helpful. Look at that. Boom. Boom. Uh, we do have an awful lot of other items left over, though, don't we? Holy crap. Uh, all right, we've got an Alexandrite, which is a rare gem, which is great. We got 14 Laramer, which is pretty solid. Uh, we got some Netherite, which is cool. Some more iron. We did get a Painite. We got a Upaline. We got some Diamond Nuggets, some Vault Apples. We got some Vault Plating, which is good for crafting. We got some Vault Dust, which is good for crafting. Magnetite, which is good for crafting. Driftwood, which is good for crafting. Um, and then some Gubbins. All right, not bad, honestly. Pretty dang good for our first vault. I'm pleased with that. That's great. The only thing is now, we need more storage space. You know what? Screw it to storage for now. Screw it to organization for now, I should say. Let's get straight on to our next vault crystal. Let's get into another vault immediately. We need to take this. Bada bing, bada boom. What do we need? Four dirt, two spider eyes, two redstone three leaves. All right, let's go grab that stuff. Here we go. Look, two redstone, four dirt, three leaves, two spider's eyes. Press the button. Here it comes. Here it comes. It's a vault crystal. And look, I'm ready to go in already. Shulker box, empty, ready to go. Uh, ooh, we might want to, we might want to heal our pick, but that's okay. Listen, we'll mine what we can. We're gonna, well, hopefully we'll get a new mining tool that we can, uh, we can use. Uh, hold on. Oh, wait, wait. How on, how did I get so distracted? We needed string, and now I'm about to go into a vault? How did I get that dis- what, what happened? What? <laughs> what happened? We need to make a bounty before we, uh, we need to make a vault, a bounty table before we go into another vault. We absolutely need to do that. We've got some string here. Let's do... Oh, my God. Let's do that real quick. <laughs> oh, how does it happen? How does it happen? I don't I don't know. Do you know? I don't know. We've got a loom. We've done it. We need chromatic iron and some vault essence. We've got... We've got chromatic iron. And we've got... Uh, we've got vault essence. Okay, we've got, we've got what we need. We've got what we need. Just throw all that in there. And now we've got ourselves a bounty table. And we're going to put this down right next to our vault. Because we're going to want to make sure that we take a bounty with us every single time we go in. Because uh, we want to always be working on a bounty. Just because it gives us extra loot. It's basically just, here's an extra challenge. And if you complete the challenge, we'll give you an extra bit of loot. So here it is. Look, it's freaking adorable first off. Look at this. This is Murray. Everybody, say hi to Murray. Uh, and if we use it, um, you can see over here, the bounty table. There are three available bounties right now. We haven't completed any recently. And this right here is where that uh, where that pearl goes. 
So let me go see where my uh, bounty pearl is. Where did I put that thing? Where did I put you, pearl? There you are. We'll grab the bounty pearl. And we can store them in here like this. Uh, and I'll explain what that means now in a second. Look, right now we've got three active bounties. We can uh, just give the table 121 chromatic iron ingots. Uh, and then this is our reward. So we'll get some Knowledge Essence, some Laramar, two Mystery Boxes, and a, and a Vault Sword, which is pretty dope. But that's an awful lot of Chromatic Iron to just give away. And I'm not ready. I'm not really ready to do that. Or we've got a completion. So it just means complete a vault. If you do that, we'll get this extra loot as well, which is pretty great. Or we can mine five Woodadite inside a vault somewhere. And we'll get a chest plate and two different types of leggings plus... 47 bottles of enchanting. That's not bad either. That's not bad either. I think for the first vault, for this for this next vault, we're just going to take the complete. Because I think we're going to probably complete this next vault anyway. So we'll take that one for now. If we didn't like what these were offering, if we, if we didn't have any bounties that we wanted to do, we can use this pearl to re-roll one of the active uh, bounties. So that's what those pearls are used for. Re-rolling bounties that you don't want to do. Super cool. I love the bounty system. That's super awesome. And if we press L, I think it is. Yeah, we can check on what our current bounty is right now. So yeah, we just need to complete the vault. So if we complete the vault, we'll get a bunch of loot for going in there. We'll get a bunch of loot for completing the vault. And now we'll get a bunch of loot for the bounty. Heckin' amazing. Uh, what do we need to do here? We need to complete a bounty. Okay, so now we go into the vault. We're, this is fine. We're doing everything properly. It's all good. I got a little off track. But it's fine. We're going into a vault. Bleh. Oh, okay. All right. It's red. This is... Oh, no. Oh, okay. All right. It does take a little while for these vaults to load in, doesn't it? Okay. All right. We're in some sort of dirt, dirt-themed dirt vault. Every vault will look different. Every vault has a, has a specific theme. We might see the same ones from time to time. Last time we had a sandy vault. Now we've got a dirty vault. Very fun. And look. First room. We've got ourselves a monolith. We're gonna mark the way we came in. East is how we uh, is the way that we came in from, so you know that we want to go back east if we want to leave. But I'm marking this as our exit just in case. All right, let's grab that first monolith. And let's keep going. Uh, we'll keep going west, just straight ahead west, and we'll see if we can find the monoliths because we do want to make sure that we complete the vault because we've got a lot of loot counting on us doing that. Um, what's that glowing ahead? What's that all about? Hello? Hello? What is that? Oh, that's a, uh, that's a pylon, I think. Is a pylon. What does it do for me? Grants four bonus hearts for two minutes. Sure. I'll take that. Well, we've got some bonus hearts. Let's go down in this room and, and kill some stuff. Let's do some fighting. Hey, boys. What are you? Why do you look so weird? Oh, I cut his head off. Alright, it's fine. We're gonna grab as much of this as we can. Uh, we really don't want wooden chests right now. Although, they, the wooden chests may be the most common, but I guess they they always have useful stuff in it. Even if it's not the most rare. I like these zombies. More ore. Okay, cool. Time to show off one of our new abilities. Watch. I'm gonna hold down this button and check this out. Oh! Look how much faster we mine. Isn't that amazing? Oh, definitely worth it. Definitely worth it. I'm glad we upgraded that first. That's so good. And because we have the potions now, I don't really need to worry about healing too much. So that's that's super huge. I like that. <laughs> that's so good. That took us no time at all. What does this do? Refills my mana. Sure. Sure. Ow, ow. Loot. What are we getting? What are we getting? All right, we're getting some driftwood. We're getting some vault plating and apples. We're getting we're getting some general stuff that's used for crafting. So more regen on our hearts. Very good. We've also got another new ability that I haven't had a chance to show you guys yet, called dash, which lets us do this. Yeet. Which is super cool. Lets us lunge through the air at top speed. Very helpful for getting around quickly in the vaults. 
You just gotta be careful of fall damage. Very dangerous. <laughs> Very dangerous to panic, click a dash, and run off it. Off the edge somewhere. Cast yourself into a pit. Alright, what do we have in here? We still we still need to find another monolith. We haven't completed the vault yet. Um, but we can still keep going west, so that's what we're gonna do. Swirly goes west. I really should be jump critting these guys as well. This is the better way to fight in a vault. I'm kind of bad at it. Uh, Alright, let's take all this. It's all good stuff. It's all good. Even the bread, like... It's not the best healing item, but it's free. And there's a lot of it, so I'll, I'll take it. Uh, what do we have in here? Same, same kind of stuff. Same kind of stuff. Useful. Not very exciting. That's the only thing. All right, let's go a different direction. Let's let's go crazy. Let's go crazy. Instead of just sticking to the western route, let's go let's go north. Screw it. Let's go north. We just really need to remember that we did that. <laughs> we just really need to remember that we did this. Ah, here we go. This is good though. This is exactly what we need. So these are the ornate chests. These are the ones that have the gear and the weapons in them sometimes. You'll get like metal stuff. You'll get iron, you'll get copper, you'll get carbon, you'll get chains, you'll get sun metal, vault plating, you'll get weapon upgrades, all that kind of stuff in the uh, in the ornate chests, which is great because we, we don't have a vault weapon right now and we really would like one. Uh, we didn't We didn't get any from these chests, unfortunately. Oh, but there is a wooden one here as well. Okay, cool. Yeah, so wooden wooden chests have your general crafting items that you kind of need for for a lot of different things in Vault Hunters. Ornate chests have gear and weapon related things mostly. Uh, oh, sorry, sir, he fell to his death. These chests up here are gilded chests. These kind of have uh, rare things. These these will have like your jewels for making your gear better, your magic silk, your gold, your rare gems, and stuff like that as well. So they, all the all the different chests are, are are different. They've got a different theme to them with their loot and, and stuff like that. So it's really cool. It makes it easy to kind of find a certain thing if you're looking for a certain thing. Uh, Vault Essence. We just found some gemstones, which is cool. We can use those to make our own jewels for uh, making our tools better. Uh, that's a whole system on its own. I like the little helmets. Oh, no, a child! And a lot of mobs. Oh my god. They're being swarmed. Please. Please. Steven. Okay. No, the beast. No, the beast. No, the beast. Don't kill me, child. Don't kill me, for I am new. I am but a new bab in, this, in these lands. Ah, uh, I know. Well, take their... It was a child, so they're a bab as well. But it's fine. They were a zombie. Oh, hello, lads. So do you see on the mini-map? There's a secret room in through a little tunnel here. So there's a dungeon in there. Oh, hello. We want to make sure the creeper dies. Uh, so if we open this dungeon, we're going to get swarmed by mobs. Is it worth the risk? Oh, do we want to have a look? I kind of want to have a look. If there's a spawner in here, it's not going to automatically break, and I don't know if our pick is strong enough to break it. There's a big slime in here as well, which drop poison when you kill them. Oh boy. Okay, bad idea, I think. I think this is a bad idea. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, they blasted a hole open. Oh dear. Okay, this is bad. We gotta run. Time to run. Okay, yeah, let's run while they're distracted. Let's get out of here. Oh boy, we need to go what? South? Okay, we still need to find a monolith. So let's, um, yeah, let's go north. Let's keep going north. We've still got 14 minutes. I just want to find a monolith. I don't want to... I don't want to start looting because I'll get distracted. <laughs> and then I'll forget that we need to find another monolith and waste my time. Is there one in this room? That would be cool. It would be really cool if there was a monolith in here. That would just be really nice. Hey, fellas, have you seen a monolith up here by any chance? Yes? No? Maybe so? I'm gonna... I think it's no. I think it's a no, actually. A resounding no. 
Uh, ooh, mystery boxes and some uh, some relic packs. Those are good. Those are good. We'll grab those. Mystery boxes have uh, a lot of like rare items in them. And these are living chests. These are the final different type of chests that we haven't seen yet. These are the ones that are filled with magical items. Uh, like apples and, and food and, and living stuff. Like earthy, earthy kind of foresty kind of ocean kind of vibes, you know? You, you feel? You feel me? Witch's bones and, and fog's breath and, 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 and skeleton fingers and newt's eyes and all that kind of stuff. Living chests are great. They also have knowledge essence, which is super important for early game because we want to unlock new mods. So living chests are definitely the ones to look out for. I don't like them. Hello, boys. I like your hat. I like your hat. I hope we get a cool hat in this series. A lot of the hats in this uh, in this mod pack are cool, so I'm hopeful. But we'll see. Seven minutes. Okay, and that's where we start going. Going south. Nope, that's where we start going east. Let's go south one room just to check. Just to see. And then we'll start going back towards the portal again. Just to see if there's a monolith. Just sneaking, sneaking right near the exit. The entrance. Do you see anything? Monolith? Are you in here? Don't see anything. Oh, man. Don't see anything. Nothing up there. It does look like there's some living chests up there, though. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go grab those real quick. Oh, there's a dungeon door there, or there's a, a a treasure door. You can make keys later on in the vault pack to unlock those doors, and they're filled with like super good loot. But I've never done that, so that's something to look forward to. Okay, what way did we go to get in here? Oh God. Did I mark the entrance? Did I mark the room? I thought I did. Yes, okay, my god. Alright, we need to start moving back towards the portal. We've gotta go. We've gotta go. We might not complete this vault after all. The monoliths are usually pretty easy. I I, I it, it sucks. Maybe we maybe hey, I'm counting our i I'm, I'm counting us out. I'm counting us out. It's not too late. It's not too late. If we check one of the side rooms at the at the entrance, we might uh, we might get lucky and find one. We'll see. We'll see. Pray, pray. Oh my god, where's the portal? Where is it? We're going the right way. I'm still seeing torches. There's the first... Okay, this is the first room. There's our monolith. All right, let's go north real quick. Just to have a quick look. Oh, we found it. We found a second one. Let's go. Four minutes left. Okay. Oh, we got lucky. We got so lucky. Ah, okay, here we go. There's, there's always something. Where are you... Where are you going? I'm right here. Why? Why are you running? I'll just loot all this. Oh, boy. Uh, I want that one thing that was left in there. I'm not done looting yet. Uh, what can we leave behind? I don't need that. I don't need that. We don't need that. No. I don't want the scaffolding. I just got an, an achievement. That, that's great. That was a good level up sound. I, I'm here for that. What is that from? Is that WoW? Was that WoW? I think I think it was WoW. What, what was that? Why is that so familiar? Or is it new? Is it its own thing? All right, let's get out of here. Time to leave the vault. Um, we really can't get distracted. We've got two minutes. We've got two minutes to get out of here. Uh, oh, and I'm hungry. What room am I in? We're not in the final room, are we? What way did we go? Whoa, did I mark the room? I don't know if I did. Uh-oh, I didn't mark the room. What direction did we come in from? What direction did we come in from? We were going east to exit, right? Okay, south, I think. I think we went north. We went north. Oh, thank goodness. Oh my god, I started to panic there for a second. Holy cow. Always mark your doors, everybody. Always mark your doors. Holy cow, can you imagine if I went the wrong way? Lost everything that we worked so hard for? Well, we wouldn't have lost anything, but still, we wouldn't have completed the vault. That would have been awful. All right, here we go. Made it out. Looks like we leveled up again. We're level four now. Heck yeah. 
we can do our new uh, skill point. What are we going to go for? What do you guys think? Um, I'm thinking, uh, let's go dash. Let's dash a little bit farther. I think that sounds like a good time. Let's go upstairs, dump all of our stuff in our uh, vault chest. We really want to just kind of focus on putting vault stuff in here, I think. We need a nice big chest full of vault stuff. Um, knowledge Essence, Eternal Souls, Burger Buns, Patties, Chromatic Iron. We've got some uh, packs to open. Some Sun Metal. We've got a Wild Focus. Lots of different stuff that I'll, uh, I'll have to explain over time. we got a Kiwi. Uh, we got a bone, we got Murray, of course. We got some money, some amethyst, some gold, some netherite, some copper, some bronze, some chromatic iron, scaffolding, of course, which doesn't matter. All right, let's see if we can pull a relic from our booster pack here. No, we didn't. And we got more emeralds in our mystery box. Not bad. Not bad. We'll take it. We'll take it. We'll empty our shulker box here as well. We got some carbon, some vault rock, driftwood. Pretty good stuff. Pretty good stuff. Pretty standard stuff. Vault essence. Some raw chromatic iron. Gemstones. Vault diamonds. We got more painite. Which is great. Yeah, we had painite before. Uh, more cobblestone as well. Uh, Larimer. Nothing crazy uh, again, but uh, still. Some useful stuff in there. Some useful stuff in there. Um, all right. Well, uh, wait, hold on. We've also got our completion crate. Oh, uh, did we leave it? Our inventory might have been full. Did we leave it on the ground? Oh, we did. Oh, my goodness. Uh -huh. That might have despawned if we didn't pick it up. Holy crap. You got to be careful. You got to be careful. All right. Let's open up our monolith crate and see what we get. This should have some pretty good stuff in it. Let's see. Blammo. Look at all that good stuff. Oh, I love that. That's the best part. Holy crap. Holy crap. We got a blank seal. I'm not really sure what that's for. We got an unidentified vault shield. We got another mystery pack. We got a bunch of jewels to make our tools better. We got a we got a new sword, which is great. And we got a new chest plate as well. Okay, so we got some new gear finally, which is great. Let's see what we got. What did we get in our mystery box? Uh, we got some diamonds, which is good. Fun stuff. Let's roll our sword, see what kind of sword we get. Could be anything. Oh, it could even be a boat. Uh, we found the Sword 2 Transmog. Not a not a very cool looking sword or anything like that. But it has 9 attack damage. Which is 2 more than our regular diamond sword. Um, 1.64 attack speed. Plus it gives us 14% soul chance. So we'll get more soul shards from enemies that we kill. Um, plus sometimes when we hit with it. Uh, it'll slow down enemies in a cloud. So that's pretty cool. Say goodbye to... Vanilla Diamond Sword. Say hello to level 3 Vault Sword. We've also got our first shield as well, which is pretty dope. Shields and Vault Hunters are really cool, really important. They automatically block attacks. So as long as you have it in your hand, sometimes it'll block an attack entirely, which is great. Uh, we got the good old Vanilla Shield uh, as our model. It's scrappy, good durability. Um, it's got a 5% chance to block all damage. It's got... Uh, a 7% thorns damage chance, I guess. No, it does 7 do thorns damage. And it has a 3% chance to activate thorns. Which means if a, an enemy hits me, sometimes I'll spit out thorns and hurt them right back. Plus, using this shield gives me plus 2 health as well. So, we're going to equip that. We're going to equip that. And let's check out our uh, chest plate as well. What do we have here? What do we have here? We're getting stronger and stronger. We've got the rusty knight chest plate. Okay, cool. Gives us four armor, as opposed to our two armor from the regular iron chest plate. Gives us 6% crit hit resistance, plus 13 mana, and also soul bound. So if we die, uh, this will stay on our body. We won't lose our, our, our chest plate. It gives us 13 extra mana, which is huge. Um, and has a crit, good crit hit resistance chance as well. So we're definitely going to wear that too. Look at this. Look at our brand new scrappy vault armor. Well, already it's starting to look uh, a bit cooler. We're moving up in the world. You know, it is a bit rusty and scrappy, but so am I, you know? I'm also rusty and scrappy. Uh, all right, cool. All right, well, we're going to do some more vaults next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Uh, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>